We will be looking at Caterpillar business in some of the numbers and then see too if the stock is worth owning in current market. We will cover all these points for better stock picking. Caterpillar closed at $247.85, with the increase of 1.20% in the last trading session. Let's look at today's trend indicators. The moving average is neutral, technical indication is neutral, and overall daily trend for the stock is neutral. Looking at weekly analysis, the weekly stock trend is in very positive trend. Today's market fear in greed index is 76, which is indicating extremely greedy emotion in the public sentiment. We usually look at this indicator to make our buy or sell decisions better. Caterpillar gave negative 3.82% returns in the last week, 3.43% in the last 30 days and three months returns are 14.46%. Now let's have a look at simple moving average data. Moving average indicates that, what could be the next footprint of the stock price in near future? Five day average is 251 with a bearish indication. 10 day is 255 with a bearish indication. 20 day average is 253, which is a bearish signal. Let's look at fundamental analysis. We will mainly see the last two quarters of the company. In June 22, the revenue was $14,247 million. In the recent quarter, September 22, it increased to $14,994 million. Now let's see the profitability of Caterpillar in the quarter June 22. The profits were $1,673 million. And in the recent quarter, September 22, the profits increased to $2041 million. Let's see debt numbers. Debt to equity number tells us how much the company is in debt. In the first quarter, it was 2.29. Then it decreased to 2.2. Then in third quarter, it again went up to 2.35. In the recent quarter, the debt score declined to 2.34. Generally, this ratio should not be over 2.0. This is today's buy or sell decision for the stock, which is purely based on the technical indicators. This is not a recommendation, but use this just as a guiding pointer for your stock picking.